The next generation of consoles are finally here, and along with them are a bunch of really amazing looking games. And I will be taking a look at and reviewing almost every single one that has come out, at least the big ones. But the first thing I wanted to talk about is Killer Instinct, which is kind of funny seeing that this is going to be my first review for a next gen system because it is a old series. It's, it's about what, like 20 years old? This is a reboot of an old classic game that I actually used to play. I wouldn't say all the time, but I would play it and I did rather enjoy it. It was a great fighter. So when I heard there was going to be a new game in the franchise, I was very excited, especially since it was going to be on the next generation of consoles. So I really wanted to see how good it was going to look and let me tell you right here this game doesn't only play well but it looks excellent and I'm very surprised because this is from Double Helix Games, the guys that did Silent Hill Homecoming and the Green Lantern and Battleship video games. And yes, I hate Battleship. I gave that my number one worst game of last year. So yeah, they don't have a good track record for me, but they nail it here. The 2D fighting is fast, fluid, and very enjoyable, and even addictive. When I first played this game, it took me about 2 or 3 hours until I decided, okay, I should play something else, because I had about like 10 other games to play when the Xbox One came out. I just wanted to keep playing and learn these characters, their combos, their moves. I just wanted to see this game in action because it is beautiful, it is fun, it is fast, it is energetic, and I love that. And a big reason why I think the gameplay is both fun and addictive is the fighters you play as. Each of the six fighters you get in the full version plays completely different from one another. Combos, moves, and even the way it feels while moving around the stage as the fighter. This is important because I have played many fighter games where characters felt too similar to other characters. Not the case here at all. Fighters like Glacius, who is a big alien made out of ice, moves slower than a character like Saberwolf, who is a werewolf, who is fast and ferocious. Also, the characters are balanced evenly, so no one character feels like they have the advantage over another, which I also hate in certain fighters. Graphically, the game is gorgeous, with a vibrant color palette, amazing particle effects that fill the air, fluid animations, over-the-top character models, and combat that never slows down at all. Even though this is a downloadable game, this looks like a next-generation title. Not only does Killer Instinct look great, but it also sounds great, with its instantly memorable soundtrack, the highlight easily being the classic main theme, which you will hear all the time on the main menu, and every time I heard it, I was just like, I want to get into this game right now, let's do it, I want to kick some ass. Its hard-hitting and satisfying sound design adds a lot to the gameplay, and voice acting, which is completely owned by the announcer, who excites me every time he speaks. I don't care if I lose, as long as I hear Ultra Combo, I am excited and I am happy. So overall, I think Killer Instinct is a great, great fighter. Sure, it doesn't have too many modes. You only have survival mode, a regular two-player mode, you have a training mode, and you have a online multiplayer mode. But there's no arcade, there's no story, which kind of sucks, and there's only six characters. But to be honest, I think you'll be playing this for a long time to come, and I've already played it for about six, seven hours. I got my $20 worth, so hey, you might get your $20 worth too. I think this is a great fighter that you definitely need to pick up. It's fun. It's fast. It looks amazing. It sounds great. It excites you. It excited me. It should excite you. So there you go. There's my review of Killer Instinct. It is awesome in my opinion. Thank you and goodbye.